Gordon Keith here with another awkward television interview, uh, this time with the legendary, iconic, and incredibly attractive Dame Julie Andrews. Hello, Gordon. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. And I don't know, am I allowed to touch you since you're a dame? I don't know what that, <laughs> was I supposed to salute or uh, gentrify Please, or? I'd be delighted. <laughs> oh, okay, good. You see, I don't know what that means when you're a dame. What does that mean? Do you get free admission it's, to Buckingham Palace or uh, seconds not, at Denny's? No, or? I don't think so. It's it's a, a honor that's given to you by your, your queen and your country. And it's very private and it it's quite special and I'm very grateful. That's quite an honor there. Uh, now, this is your uh, first film with The Rock, I believe, isn't it? Yes. Hopefully not my last, but certainly my first with him. Have you worked with any other WWE wrestlers, Mankind? No, I haven't. But, you know, you never know from your lips. I, I grew up uh, in in the bar stall that I stayed in uh, throughout my youth. We watched <laughs> Mary Poppins all the time. So <laughs> I have to admit I'm very nervous being around you because you're, you know, so legendary oh, and everything like that. Please. Now, that movie, of course, spoke to my generation, all my you know kids around me knew that one. And now you got this new generation that knows you from Shrek, from the Tooth Fairy, this movie here. Yep. Uh, so what does that mean to you? To, to... It means I'm a very lucky lady. Um, it wasn't by design. Um, a lovely script came along called Tooth Fairy and I seized on it because I thought it was charming. And it has a wonderful theme which is that you must believe in your dreams and you must hold on to them and be allowed to dream. And I think these days that's not a bad thing to be reminded of. Now, do they uh, do the Tooth Fairy bit in England? or is Oh, this, yes. They do that? Indeed. I, I put my teeth under the pillow, and my kids did too, and my grandkids do now. And what did they give? I mean, what was the, the common... In England, in my time, it was very little. It was like a um, sixpence or a shilling or something like that. But these days, I'm not sure what the going rate is. I'll have to ask my daughter. Now, you've practically won every award known to humankind. That's just because I stuck around. Well, you know, that counts for something. Yes. Me, I'm not going to stick around for very long. As you can see, I'm in poor health. <laughs> Are you put off by the beard? I can shave it. It means nothing to me. Ah, uh, oh, that's so sweet. No, no, I suggest you keep it. Are there any awards that you, you haven't won yet that you'd like to? A Pulitzer no. or welterweight title? Well, yes. I mean, if anybody's going to offer that, the welterweight would be wonderful. Yeah, that, that'd be nice. Are you a pugilist in any way? Um, can you fight? Privately, yes. Uh, my children say I am, but um, I don't do it very often. Okay. I'm right. out of practice. Now, uh, let me go. This is lightning round, okay, Miss Andrews? Yes. Miss Andrews? Mrs. Andrews? How, what do you prefer? Uh, uh, Julie would be fine. Julie. Uh, favorite book? Uh, the Little Gray... Uh, two. Uh, uh, the Once and Future King by T.H. Uh, White, uh, which is the beautiful um, book that Camelot was based on, the movie mm -hmm. Camelot, and a lovely children's book called... The Little Grey Men. Nobody knows it. It's a small gem. Really? Uh, by a, an author that only signs his initials BB. Do you like hip hop? Um, I'm admiring of it. It uh, it's, doesn't have quite enough content lyrically mm -hmm. for me. Least favorite beetle? Least favorite beetle. Oh, cockroaches. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> primary ingredient in pancakes. I'm doing a little cooking later on. Um... It could be lemon or, or cranberries. Mmm, nice. And uh, this is kind of a personal one, but what are you doing after? I know a Starbucks after, that plays Nora Jones. Uh, and... Well, I've got about another four hours to go. I don't know if you can wait that long. Yeah, I can't wait around There's that long. There's an awful lot of pretty ladies out in the hall. <laughs> I've got a bottle of vodka in my room. Yeah, Sorry, I, well, it's nice of you, it. but uh, I've got a very hot husband waiting for me at home. I know it. I know it. I'm jealous. He the might great... not be too pleased. No, he wouldn't be. Yeah. The great Julie Andrews, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Encourage everyone to go see The Tooth Fairy starring Dame Julie Andrews. Thank and you Wayne so much. Johnson. Uh, yes. Oh, forgot about The Rock, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. It was lovely. Absolutely. Thanks for the offer. Oh, yeah. <laughs>